Hey guys, so today is Monday, July 30th, um, and I have a couple hours to do some work in my classroom. We did have swimming lessons this morning, and then the girls and I went to lunch with my husband. And now we are here to do some work for a couple hours. We don't have much time just because we have to go down the hill again. Might as well have another chiropractor appointment. So, before I get started, I thought I would just put away my Target haul. So I thought maybe you'd want to see what I got over the weekend. So I'll share with you the items that I got um, at Target. So, again, I've been looking and looking and looking for the big bins. I got three of them. I need more. No one ever has them. They have the small bins. They have the file bins. They never have the bins that I need. So... I don't know if I'm ever going to find them, but I would really like to have more of those just because they hold so many books. We'll see. Somebody out there is being selfish and stealing all of them. I can just imagine. <laughs> anyway, so the first thing I got from Target, I saw um, another YouTuber. She's really sweet. Her name is Sheridan from Excellently Elementary. She had this felt tic-tac-toe game and I thought this would be really fun I've actually been looking for it ever since I saw her post about it um, I thought it might it would be fun to use on my felt board that you saw me make last week so um, yeah I'm hoping that this will be a fun thing that the kids can play with my daughter Cora who will be kindergarten she loves tic-tac-toe it's one of her favorite things to play so if she can do it I'm sure all the other kids can play it as well so I thought that would be a fun addition to our um, free choice center I did get some wiki sticks. I went back and forth on these um, because these were three dollars. Oh, this game was three dollars as well. So this is three dollars. This game, this the wiki sticks are three dollars, and it says that there's eighty in here. I've used wiki sticks in the past. I really like them. We like to, I like to build, have the kids build words with them. Um, so hopefully they're worth it. I don't know, three dollars. I thought was maybe a little steep, but what do I know? I don't buy wiki sticks very often. Uh, one thing I did get that I hadn't seen in um, at Target's before were these bulletin board accents, and they are dry erase banner pennants. I really like them, and you can just, I have so much ribbon that I can just string my own ribbon and make my own pennant. I mean, I like the, I, this one because you can customize colors, you can customize how many letters you need if you want to put spaces between words. I just love that. And this is a dollar, so I got two of these. Um, so I plan on putting those on my bulletin boards along with the other banners that I've already purchased. I did get another one of these just because I was thinking I'm going to probably put him above my wow work board um, along with these. I thought it would be fun on that board. So I got two because that's such a big bulletin board. It's like my entire wall. Um, and that was, these are $3. I finally found one of these. I only got one, but I did get one. I've been looking for these everywhere too. Um, so I'm hoping to get more of these so I can turn these into a center. So basically you just find the word, the picture and you, you create the word. So like the word log, you'd find the um, letters that go with log, like that. So those are fun. Um, I did finally get these, and I had to go to two different stores to get one. Each store had one, so I've been looking for these as well. I like that these have the letters, they have the shapes, and they have the left hand, right hand, plus the numbers on the fingers. Um, and I like that the hands are have um, a brown hand as long with a peach colored skin hand, just because um, it's just to make sure everyone is equally... Um, represented. I like that. I did break down and get some sticky notes. I've been eyeing these. I love the sticky notes, but I really like the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if I wanted to do like a quick, like this is what I need to do on each of these days and put it in my um, teacher planner, then I can do that. Okay. So then again, another thing that I didn't think to pick up before, then I was like, dang it, why didn't I do it? And then they sold out were thank you cards. Um, and just cards to have at school for birthdays. I mean, how many teachers do we have? You know, students have, or I mean, uh, teachers have birthdays, or we get gifts from our students, or we just want to say thank you to a volunteer or something. There are so many times when I've wanted to send a card and I haven't had the cards. So these were a dollar. I got this one says thank you. This one says your kindness means the world to me. I really like this one. And then the last one I got, if I can find. 
find it. It's just one that says hello. So, got those. I broke down and bought the alphabet letters. I thought these would be nice to have in my small group area. And I already have some alphabet letters, but these would be nice or to keep as a center and just to have to just to keep, be able to keep them there and not have to transfer the letters in and out because I have a ton of magnetic letters that I use for um, other things but it would be nice to have some letters that I can just I can just store with that specific center so I got five sets of those because usually I have five kids in a group no more than that and the last thing I purchased was this thing I've been looking for one of these everywhere is only a dollar um, and I'm hoping to get a three tier cart and I'm just going to hang this on the side so for papers or um, books that we're reading or whatever I need to put in the side of it so I'm hoping maybe to get two more of these to keep on the sides of my three tier cart so that's really all I got from Target it wasn't much I am going to hang up my dog tails or Addie thinks are dinosaur tails whatever they are my hooks for my art smocks and hopefully we can get them all to fit and they'll look nice. Um, I've used this one to <laughs> uh, I give me an idea as to how high they can reach because she is kindergarten. So right now I'm just taking the tags off of them and then I'm going to try and mount them with command strips and hopefully that works. If that doesn't, if that fails then I'll use hot glue by would rather not use hot glue if I can help it because hot glue can damage the wall when you go to take things down. So my first choice is to use command strips. So hopefully this works. Yep. Um, and then we'll see. So I did have a sweet viewer tell me that these I art smocks that I got from Ikea do not ho hold up well. Um, yeah, let's hope that they hold up well because hey. I don't feel like buying new art smocks and I was kind of hoping that they would last. So I think if I, they are kind of a, a thin material. Okay, uh, because that's not necessary. Okay. So hopefully they hold up well, but we're going to try them. Again, they were only like $3.99, so it's not a big loss if I, they don't hold up, but. I'm gonna, I took the aprons or the things back off so that um, the hooks can sit for an hour or whatever they need and then I'll put them back on. So I think I'm gonna try and hang my rack above it. Let's see how it looks. So I'm gonna now hang this thing above those. This is I'm hoping to use this for like um, some artwork that they finish, or if it's some artwork that needs that has wet glue or wet paint that needs to dry, hang it on there. And I don't know if that's gonna work as exactly as I'm picturing it, because I mean you can only hang so many pieces there. But that's my plan. So I'm gonna use some command hooks because it does have little like nail triangle I'll show you in a second but again it's a, it's a um, cinder block wall can't do a lot with cinder block wall I could I can technically screw 
screws into it, but I hate doing that, so I don't. So I'm just going to try command strips, and again, if command strips don't work, then I'm going to use hot glue. But I don't see why they wouldn't work. So. pretty good um i might do like a little banner that says art or paint or something but for now i'm gonna leave it because i'm gonna try and do my um rainbow so now i think i'm gonna go ahead and paper that board and start putting my border up because I need to know if I have enough border. I'm not sure if I do or not, so I'm gonna do that next. <laughs> actually had one and a half left over so that's a relief because I didn't really want to have to go back to the teacher's store to get more because it's an hour and a half away so yeah I like it it'll look good and I have 12 by 12 construction paper coming um for each kid they'll get a 12 by 12 piece and then I have those Dollar Tree I mean those dollar spot clips I'll put their names on them and they'll go above their thing and that'll be their wow work board so now I'm going to probably clean up because my husband is going to come get us in about 20 minutes and um, I want to be ready and I need to get stuff cleaned up. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. 
Um, I just really have to put stuff away is really all it is. I don't know, maybe I'll put up some more border too if I have time. So I have to put border around the, yeah, there you go, that one and that one. So that's going to be my reading board, so I'll probably put my alphabet that matches my pillow up around that one. Maybe. He might go back too if I decide I don't like him. If he doesn't fit, I'm going to have to look and see if he fits because I have another border that I really like um, that I want to go somewhere. And actually, I might put him, put this, I have this one. I love this one. And I might put it instead of that one. I'm not a huge fan of that one. I mean, I like it. Just don't know if I like it there. So I don't know. I'll try to decide. But I really am liking the way that board looks and the rest of my boards. I guess I have that board too. So I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll wait on borders. I don't really need to put border up. I'll have my big bulletin board as my other big bulletin board that's this one that needs to get hung up and papered as well. So I guess I'll have places to put it. So I'll probably just leave that stuff up since... It's already up, and I like it. I, the reason I chose it is because it kind of looks like scribbles for, like, writing. So that's kind of why I chose it. So we'll see what I decide to do. So. So if anyone's interested, they have these purple rocking chairs at Lowe's, and they're on clearance for $9.98. Or they have these green Adirondack chairs for on clearance for $8.98. We're getting these two, these for our girls, and maybe they'll become flexible seating options.